friends, it's Christine from Spotted Horse Design and today I'm excited to teach you how to make this spiked sedge stitch. I really love the texture of this stitch and surprisingly it is very easy to make. So grab your hook and yarn and let's get started. All right, so to begin, you are going to make a starting chain of any multiple of three plus two. Since I'm just making a small practice swatch, I'm starting with 26 chains, but you can make your practice swatch as big or as small as you'd like it to be, as long as it's any multiple of three plus two. So go ahead and pause this video and make your starting chain, and then I'll meet you back here to start row one together. Okay, so now that your starting chain is all finished, let's begin row one. So we're gonna start by working into the second chain from the hook. So just insert your hook into that second chain and make one single crochet. And then you're just gonna to continue to make one single crochet in each chain all the way across until you get to the end of the row. So go ahead and pause this video, make your single crochets all the way across, and then I'll meet you back here to start row two. All right, so now that you've finished your first row of single crochet stitches, it's time to chain one and turn our work. Now the chain one does not count as a stitch anywhere in this tutorial. So we're gonna be working directly into the very first stitch of this next row. So into this first stitch, you're going to make one single crochet. And now working into the same stitch, you're going to make a half double crochet. And then once again, working into this stitch, you're going to make a double crochet stitch. And that is your first spiked sedge stitch. So to make our next one, you're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to work into this stitch here. So you're going to make one single crochet and into the same stitch, you're going to make one half double crochet. And then lastly, you're going to make one double crochet also in this same stitch. Now you're going to skip the next two stitches. And into this next stitch, we're just going to repeat what we just did in the last stitch. So one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet stitch. So I want you to go ahead and pause this video, continue working the same sequence. So skipping two stitches, working a spiked seg st <laughs> spiked sedge stitch, say that 10 times fast, um, and then skipping two stitches again. You're gonna repeat this all the way until the end of this row. And then once you get to the last three stitches of this row, you're gonna skip over the first two of those three stitches and then work just one single crochet in the very last stitch. So go ahead and pause this video, finish up this row, and then I'll meet you back here to start row three. All right, welcome back to row three. If you haven't already, make sure to chain one and turn your work so that we can start on row three. So in this very first stitch here, you're going to make a single crochet and a half double crochet, both in the same stitch. All right, so our double crochet, we're actually going to make that in this space in the row below. Remember, we skipped two stitches. So you're just going to insert your hook straight into that space and make your double crochet there. Okay, so now you're going to skip the next two stitches. And we are going to work into the next stitch, this one right here, we're going to work one single crochet and one half double crochet, both in the same stitch. And now once again, you're going to look for that space from the row below where you skipped two stitches, and that's where you're going to make your double crochet stitch. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through that one more time. So skip the next two stitches. And now we are going to work into this stitch. We're going to make one single crochet 
and one half double crochet both in this stitch. And now in the space from our two skipped stitches in the row below, right here, you're going to make a double crochet. And now for the remainder of this row, you're just going to continue to repeat these steps. So you're going to skip two stitches, work a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch, and then a double crochet in the space from the row below. And then once you get down to the last three stitches, just like we did in the previous row, once you get to the last three stitches, you're going to skip over the first two of those last three and then finish the row by making a single crochet in the very last stitch. You chain one and turn and repeat the process over and over and over again until your practice swatch is the size that you'd like it to be. That's it my friends, that concludes today's crochet stitch tutorial. I hope you found this helpful and I hope it gave you some ideas for some crochet projects that maybe you could use it for. Let me know in the comments what you think you might like to use it for and if there are any other stitch tutorials that you'd like to see from me. Have a good day, bye!